How long have you been a stylist? I have been a stylist for 10 years. And what, when did you become a stylist? Well, it didn't happen like I just decided, I woke up one day and decided I wanted to be a stylist. I used to work in a shoe store and I got fired. Yeah, so I was pushed out of my comfort zone and luckily Monica, celebrity singer Monica, R&B singer, she was my client. I used to sell her shoes. So I reached out to her and I was like, hey girl, I just got fired. I need a job. Let me come clean out your closet. Let me carry your bags. Let me do whatever. And she was like, cool, I'll give you a chance. And since then, it's been up since then and I love it. What has been your biggest challenge being a stylist and having your own clothing line? Um, I would have to say my biggest challenge pretty much is just balancing, you know, my kids, my home life with, you know, traveling, leaving them. But other than that, everything is just good. You know, I, I'm not afraid of failure. I'm not afraid of making mistakes because that's how I grow. So, you know, I just take one day at a time and I just keep trying stuff. I keep getting out of my comfort zone. I keep going that extra mile. And if it works, fine. And if it doesn't, fine. And when you're at, when you're at, you attend a fashion show, do you see any pieces that you would want, you would see on a particular show? Um, I do fashion shows. So you got a lady that go to the fashion shows is for inspiration. Um, I never go and say, okay, I think Monica should have that on because I'm developing my own line now. So it's basically just inspiration for me to say, okay, this is what I want to make in a size 22 because I'm all about the plus size world now because nobody's doing that. So I feel like if nobody's doing it and it's needed, then just create it. So that's what I'm saying. No, no. When I first started out it, um, with my boutique, there was so much limited pieces that only went up to a size large. So I said from now on, if I can't get it all the way up to a 3X, then I don't want it. What would be your advice to yourself 20 years ago? What would be my advice? Make more mistakes. I didn't make enough because I was scared. And now I'm not. I just try it. And what's the worst that could happen? I blow up and come a celebrity, celebrity stylist. <laughs> I mean, it seemed like it worked making not, not enough mistakes. I mean, yeah, yeah, and I think of. people just kind of get on stuck on the fact that failure is not an option, but failure is an option. But so that's the only way you're going to learn. Thank you. You're welcome. This has Thank been the Terrain Puzzle Experience. <laughs>